should we play Megan Trainer because these people train so hard for the hustle up the Hancock? Uh, it's a great morning for it, and we love seeing all these people out here every year hustling up the Hancock. Uh, they've trained so hard for this. More than 4,000 people are taking the fight for healthy lungs step at a time. The annual Hustle Up the Hancock begins about 40 minutes from now. The event raises millions of dollars for lung disease, research, and education as well. One of those participants is our own Derek Young. He's inside the John Hancock building where climbers are getting ready to take those stairs up. He's doing his stretching out there. 95 flights up to the observation deck. Good morning, Derek. How's it going? Hey, good morning, Ed. It's going great. I'm getting ready, getting my legs warmed up, getting all stretched out. I'm standing here on Inspiration Row because what happens is all of those people who are upstairs getting warmed up, getting stretched out, they're going to come down the elevator and they'll stop here. So they'll take their picture and that's when everything begins. And then they just walk down this aisle here in this row. And this is where the inspiration really kicks off. We've got boards here of people that we're climbing for, very important people as it relates to lung health. And then we have inspiration boards where people can sign names for other individuals who they are climbing for. So the board has a few names on it right now. Alice Roshan, Elizabeth Pinckney, Michelle Tanabe's mother. Eventually that board will be full of people's names because there's so many people, thousands of people climbing for loved ones and others that they care about. So I'm walking down the row. You get a final drink of water at some point if you'd like that. And you can see our crew setting up here lots of water because again, we have thousands of people doing the climb and they'll continue down and continue down. And as they're walking down, what you'll see behind me is a clock that will eventually come on and that will let them know their start time and then there's a clock up top that will let them know their finish time. So at this point, I'm going to bring in Joel Afric. He's the CEO of the Respiratory Health Association. And Joel, as tell me, how important is this climb to the Respiratory Health Association? Well, it's so important, Derek. We're a local organization. The money we raise here in Chicago stays here in Chicago. We're supporting doctors doing research at area universities, teaching kids with asthma how to manage their asthma. It's so important. And, and tell me about clean air, too, because I think a lot of us take it for granted, but, but we shouldn't, right? Only if you breathe, but if you breathe, it really matters. There's a lot of evidence that on air pollution action days, admissions actually go up to the hospital. That affects all of us, but especially people with lung disease. So that's who we're advocating for, that's who we're fighting for, people who have lung disease, and so that all of us have clean air. People finish this inspiration row, they start the climb here, that clock goes off, and they make their way up 94 flights. Have a great day. Back to you, Ed Murray. Well, thank you very much. And uh, Suzanne and I will see you out there a little bit later on. I look forward to it.